Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my What Sold video for last week Monday through Thursday which were which was April 8th through the 11th. Yeah, all my sales are still continuing to be consistent. In fact, one of the days, I think it was Tuesday, I did really, really well. But the other days are just kind of right where I want them to be. And I'm not going to, I can't complain. You know what I mean? Still doing the things that I need to do. Every day I'm doing my end and sell similar. Every day I'm listing. Right now I'm, I'm sticking to like 20 to 30 every day. Um, running sales sending out offers. Now y'all, I've decided since this is the beginning of a new quarter that I'm going to increase my offers that I'm sending out. So everything that was listed before January of last year when we started our new um, putting dates into our custom SKU so I know exactly when something was listed. Everything before January, I'm now sending out 25% off offers plus I'm running a 10% sale at all times. Anything that was listed the first half of last year, I'm sending out 20% offers. Everything that I listed the last of last year, I'm sending out 15% offers. And then this year, I'm doing 10%. And then this month, for the most part, I'm sending out 5% offers. Um, just kind of trying to keep the algorithm happy. Um, and hopefully get rid of more of my old inventory. You know, there was a time, you know, it was listed and forget it. Well, those days are gone. You know, I, you know, I've got to pay attention to my space. I've never had this many listings ever before. I'm up to a little over 11,000 listings. So, you know, I, I have to be more conscientious of what I'm purchasing um, and trying to get rid of the old inventory. Somebody asked in one of my videos, um, do I ever get rid of just end it and get rid of stuff that's not selling. For the most part, no. While I'm doing my inventory, I have found, you know, some stuff and I'm like, over the years I've reduced the prices. It's just blah. And I am pulling them, but literally it's probably no more than 50 things. It's not been a whole lot of stuff because to me personally, I think at some point everything sells. So I just... I'm working on, you know, just moving it by reducing the prices through offers for those people who are actually interested in it. And hopefully, you know, it's going to finally sell, which you're going to see quite a few of that in this video. Um, but I'm just doing my part, trying to keep the algorithm happy and, you know, staying busy, staying busy. I'm loving how much of my, my death pile profit pile. Um, I'm actually working through. Last week was blah because first and foremost, I had a stomach bug. Um, secondly, though, I just, I decided I was going to clean a whole lot of small appliances and start getting that stuff listed. Um, what else did I work on? Oh, some sewing patterns, but very, very little toys. But we made a video yesterday of some estate sale finds, so now I can get back to listing some toys and some fun stuff. So, you know, it's part of reselling. It's not all fun. Well, it's not. Sometimes you got to list the stuff that's not fun. And then tell yourself, was it worth it? Because, you know, in this process, you know, Robert keeps saying, you know, if it's troublesome to list or it's big and needs prepackaged, you know, it needs to be worth it. So... For the most part, it has been, though. It has been. So I've got a couple of projects this week that's still, again, going to be a little bit blah. But I'm going to try to get some toys in just to kind of, you know, pep yourself up. Get some stuff processed. So that's, that's my life as a reseller, right? All right. Y'all, still nothing on Poshmark and Macari. Nothing. I did a little bit of cross-listing to Poshmark, but it's not been, you know, like I said, I had a stomach bug. It was just enough to get down here and work a little while and get my packages out while Robert was gone and just, you know, do the best I could. Um, it is what it is. 
That's the good part about being self-employed. You can work as hard as you want or as little as you want. So I did make an Etsy sale though, but it won't be into a for future video. So I'm happy about that. All right, let's get started. When I talked about this in the haul video, I said that it was going to sell for like $20, $25. That's a different Little People Christmas tree. It's the larger one that goes to like the Winter Wonderland. I, you know, you just had that, that moment, that lapse. Um, but this one does sell very well and it sold very quickly for me, less than a month. This is the Little People Christmas tree. It's like three inches tall, but it's musical when you push the bottom of it or the top, I can't quite remember. Um, it plays music. Um, like I said, though, it sold very, very quickly for $12.95. My full listed price. It probably sold right after I listed it and it hadn't even had a chance to go on sale yet. All right, Dandy Lovies. This has the little knotted corners. Um, Y'all know I pick up most Lovies as long as they're in good condition. Um, this one sold for $8.96. Again, same month I listed it. Miss Piggy. Um, this was a Ben's pickup. At the time I picked it up, I didn't realize she was missing her little feather boa that she's supposed to have. So it affected the price a little bit. Um, again, she sold in less than a month, though, for $8.96. Speaking of the bins, you know, we go to the St. Louis bins whenever we go to visit Robert's family. And it had been $1.89, but somebody made a comment in one of my videos that I think they've raised the price to $2.09 now. So, you know, it's it's 20 cents, but it's 20 cents a pound. You know, in the long run, like, we buy hundreds of pounds every time we go to visit. So, We'll just have to see. I still am wanting to go to Indianapolis um, at some point this year. I, we used to go there quite often. Cuddle Wit. It's a brand I really like. Um, a vintage brand. Don't find it a whole lot, but when I do, I usually pick it up. Um, this was just a little 8-inch bear. It did take a while to sell. And, you know, I'm trying to... I'm trying this year to follow my mantra of just say no to bears. Just say no to bears unless it's a brand I really, really like. You know, it's a vintage brand that I really like or it's got really good comps um, because I just have so many bears and a lot of them are slow moving. VTech Go Smart. This is a little mermaid girl. Her name was Pearl. Um, I talk about the Go Smart cars at times. I do small lots of them. They, they haven't been moving as quickly as they used to for me. Um, so I probably won't pick them up until I s figure out, you know, is it a lot of two or a lot of four or a lot of six or something like that that's going to get them moving. Um, but these, um, the animals and the, the people tend to do better for me. And a lot of times I list like the people individually. Um, this little girl sold for $13.45. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say it sold for $13.45, the buyer also paid shipping. All right, Burger King, Teletubbies. Um, I'm sure this is from the high bid stuff um, that I picked up a while back. I went and grabbed, I think, two boxes of some of the last of like the Happy Meal toys and the Kids Meal toys that... Um, I hadn't sorted through. A lot of them I had to discard. They were just in terrible condition. But about half of it, I would say, um, was good. I had previously listed, I think, the three Teletubbies and the um, vacuum. And then I found the rabbit when I was doing um, some more of that stuff. So I ended it, added the rabbit, and it ended up selling for $17.05. This is another one of those uh, things. Just, I'm not going to purchase anymore. This is a Kelly Toy baby mat. Now, it's those large, like, pillow-type mats that go on the floor that you can lay your baby in. This took forever. Forever to sell, and it was large. Took up a whole lot of storage space. So, I'm just going to have to, you know, of course, always check comps. But this is just one of those ones. It's not going to be automatic like it used to be for me. Dandy, buttery, soft, yellow dog. Um, 
This was a Ben's pickup. Sold for $8.96. You guys are going to still see a whole lot of bread and butter. Bread and butter pays the bills. Robert uses that title quite often in our videos. Jelly Cat Amusables. I had never seen these before until I found them at the Goodwill bins this last trip. I know I've got more of them. I just haven't found them in the bins bags. We still have several bags that we've not gotten to yet. Um, but I, I plan to get through them in the next month because we're going back to the bins. Well, we're going back to St. Louis at the end of May. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of shopping. And then I think we're going back again in July. So, um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to restock on the bags. So, you know, when times are slow or, you know, whatever, I'll have these bags to go through and do videos on and um, get them listed. Um, but this corn on the cob sold for $9.05. Golden Bear Company. Um, this is a J.C. Penny, one of those holiday bears, 25 inch, sold for $19.76. I see a lot of plush that are from the Golden Bear Company. Um, and there's some Barneys and stuff that were also in other character toys from the Golden Bear Company. It's, it's, it's usually really good quality. Um, and anytime I see Golden Bear Company, I tend to pick up most of that plush. It's not a brand I've really talked about before, but anytime I see it, I know it's going to be good quality. Douglas. Not all Douglas are home runs. Definitely not. Most of them are bread and butter. There are exceptions. I know I've done a video in the past on some of the higher selling Douglas plush. Um, this is not one of them. Bread and butter, but this was the Blue Dragon named Xander, and he sold for $8.87. Aurora Sleepy Eyes Tiger. This um, sold for $8.38. It was listed for quite a while. I'm probably going to move away from more of this type of stuff as I continue to source, um, just because it's they are slower selling. Um, so, you know, just, I like the Sleepy Eyes plush, and I've done well with, like, some of the farm animals and stuff, but some of these, like, the tigers and the elephants and stuff, they just tend to be a lot slower. They still sell, but slower. Parts, pieces and parts to small appliances. This is from an Oster Regency Kitchen Center. It's the meat grinder food pusher, um... Yeah, all this stuff sells. Definitely keep your eyes out for it. We bought we bought a couple of things, I think, this weekend from Estate Sales um, because they do so well for us. And they're small, except for the, the bases. But for the most part, you know, the blades and the pushers and whatever else, um, they don't take up a whole lot of storage space. And you tend to make more parting these things out than you do selling the whole unit. Now, I don't... I, I'm not always parting stuff out. It just really depends on what it is that we find. Um, but this type of stuff, I tend to part them out. If I didn't say it, it sold for $8.87. Taught on the pot. I knew that this was from like a book series. What I didn't know was that it was anatomically correct. I think I have a video um, when I found it, not realizing it until it was on the video. So, uh, I knew it was something to pick up, though, and it sold for $23.72. Now, this is from a Profit Pile stuff. Again, I didn't know what they were. You know, it's hard to list stuff. I don't think new resellers know just what an advantage Google Lens is for you, because a lot of this stuff is why it didn't get listed. It got thrown in totes because, you know, it's it's cumbersome to try to list stuff that you don't know what they are and I knew eventually I'd get around to it or I'd happen upon a listing like it um but I mean it's been a game changer I'm so glad I decided in January to go back and start working on just these totes and totes and totes of stuff that I have because look $16.16 for something that's just sat in a tote but it's from a series called Puppy in My Pocket. Um, it was Ocean in My Pocket, Jungle in My Pocket, all of that type of stuff. 
but they're these little flocked animals. I was very pleasantly surprised. I picked this up at an estate sale quite a while ago. Just thought it was funny. Um, it's by Bakery Craft, so it's a cake topper. Um, I just used Lounging Man Bachelorette, um, and he finally sold for $9.86. Well, this is from our homeschooling um, uh, shelf upstairs. RJ had to go in and take a standardized test uh, through our homeschool umbrella school. Um, they require an annual test just to kind of see where you are when you're in high school. Um, so we went looking for a calculator and I found a whole pile of these. Only one of them actually worked, but the other ones I took parts off and listed them. Um, but this is the TI-83+. plus. The, the really good one to look for is the TI-84+. plus. But this one sold, I think, the same day I listed it on an offer of $26. I've got to get through some more of our homeschool stuff. Bubble Guppies. This is probably the second or third lot of these that I have sold. I paid, I want to say $12 or $12.50 at a recent kids consignment sale. Um, it was like a gallon bag. And I knew I could put them into lots and sell them that way. But y'all, there was a very rare um, two-piece set in that bag that has recently sold, but it's going to be in an upcoming um, watt sold, probably the next one, and it sold for a lot of money. So this one sold for $17.05. This is a viewer sale, so thanks again, Tracy. Tracy bought my Nanko Purple Spider Plush for $17.95. This has been listed since the middle of last year, so when I got a $25 offer on it, I just went ahead and accepted it. This is a Russ Emily Cow Plush, $25. Torrid Women's Cut-Off Jeans sold for $10. I don't know which, which makes me happier. An item that I just list that sells very, very quickly or something that's been listed for a really long time and finally sells. You know, which? Which one makes you happier? I don't know. Both, I guess. Both for me. Especially right now because I've made such a concerted effort to move the older stuff. This was another thing that I picked up at that kids' consignment sale. Um, it was a Carter's Pink Rabbit Lovey sold for $13.45. Another old listing. Again, I don't know if I would use Google Lens now um, if I could figure out who the manufacturer was because it's got a unique face. Um, but at the time that I listed it, I don't think I knew about Google Lens. And it sold, though, for $7.89. Brass. I forced myself to finish the brass, to finish um, just lots of these totes that I had full of stuff. This was like a graduated candle holder set, um, and they sold for $29.88. Same month I listed them. Hasbro Marvel Fantastic Four Thing figure sold for $16.16. .16. Subway Kids Mill Toys. Some of the vintage ones do really, really well. Um, in the past, I have sold quite a few um, from this high bid estate sale for, you know, $20, $30, $40 $40 for some of the um, pieces or small lots. Um, this is I'm Just a Bill from Subway. Um, it sold the same day I listed it at my full asking price for $9.95. This buyer also bought this carrot hanging ornament. So the total of the order was $18.91. But definitely keep your eyes open for the vintage Subway toys. Kelly Toy Gray Elephant Plush. Kelly Toy used to do really well for me. I'm having more and more issues. First and foremost, just when you try to search for comps, you get so many Squishmallows and it's really hard to um, get good comps. You know, you can go in and um, when you're doing a search and you want to take out words because it's messing up your search, you could do like minus squishmallow, smiling, minus squishmallows, 
and you should be able to pull up things that aren't Squishmallow. But for the most part, anyway, they've just stopped selling very well for me, and they used to do really well. It's such a nice quality brand, I think. Um, but for the most part, I'm getting bread and butter, and they're taking longer to sell. Um, this one sold for $13.74. BKE Seth Men's Jeans, definitely a brand to be looking for. I think these sell within a week of me listing them usually. Um, this one sold for $26.71. From a profit pile, this is Clifford, the big red dog, little mini T-bone figure, sold for $8.96. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Heather. Heather saw this in a recent video. It is a cuddly, ugly monster plush with a cute little six-inch chain, and she watched my store till she saw that I had listed it, and it sold for $21. All right, International Pewter Litchfield Flatware. It was one of those, it sat on the shelf. I think recently I finally sold something from it, and I've talked about this before. It seems like when I sell one thing from something, then all of a sudden I sell more things from the same um, set. Um, but these, this person bought a four-piece dinner knife set and a four-piece salad forks set for $44.25. Pink Elephant Pillow Plush by Victoria Classics. Again, another long tail item. Finally sold $9.86. Y'all, I have listed and sold two of these from my high bid estate sale stuff um, within a week of listing them. Um, this is a McDonald's Grimace on a skateboard from 1992, and he sold for $8. Columbia Omni Shade Halter Dress sold for $14.99. Now, this is from my favorite little estate sale company. Um, went there, it was from the same time when I bought all of those vintage clothes. Um, just tons and tons. Last day that we were there, I saw this on a shelf. I want to say it was $5. It was $10. I got it for $5. But it was like a stack. It was graduated sizes of plates. And then there were like two, um, like a, a teacup and like a demitoss demi cup. And I made a lot. I've already sold the other cup and saucer. And I've sold several of the plates. I might have one or two pieces left. But this was the cup and saucer, the other cup and saucer. And it sold for $26.95. I just love this design. It's called Adam's Singapore Bird Turquoise. Just love that design. Chalkware, I forced myself to finish listing all of them also. This was a hanging poodle six-inch wall decoration sold for $13.72. The brass finished listing all of that this past month. Well, in March, this is the heron bird, and it sold for $15. Y'all, I found these years ago at an estate sale. I want to say I paid $10. It was a nesting set of three of these Pyrex blue bowls. Um, I sold, I want to say, the really large one. And then this was like maybe the second large one. And I've still got the small one left. Um, but they have been very, very slow. Um, this bowl sold for $14. Riders, women's jeans. I think almost every video I do, I've been selling Riders and Lees. Don't know. Not selling for a whole lot, but they sell. And, you know, if I'm filling a bag or paying a buck or less for them, I don't mind making $10 on a pair of jeans. Scarecrow plush made of that parachute or nylon material. This is from Gibson Greetings, 1995, and it sold for $11.66.
game parts. I picked this up at the bins, not even realizing what it was. It was just interesting. Um, come to find out, it's from a game called Gooey Louie. Um, it has been listed a while. It still sold for $15.25. This week, I've been going through some of the games that I had over here um, also, and some of them I've decided to list just parts because it's incomplete. Um, so definitely if you buy something and it's missing a piece, um, consider checking to see if it sells as replacement parts. Um, you'd be surprised. Some of them do really well. Um, you probably could make more selling the parts to certain games than you do to sell the whole game intact. Merrill Women's Black Sandals. I'm pretty sure I picked these up for me and then I didn't care for them. Um, sold for $17.50. Schleich. I had a tote full of just animals. And anything that was Schleich, I pulled out. The rest of the stuff like Safari Limited or Toys R Us or unbranded stuff, I've been making small lots. Um, but the Schleich, I tend to list by themselves. This one had some paint wear. It still sold very quickly for me for $8. This is another viewer sell. Crystal had told me that she was interested in this Bass Pro Opossum. It needed a couple of spa days, so she waited patiently um, watching my store and went ahead and picked it up. It was $19.95, so thank you again, Crystal. Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. Usually when I buy Fisher Price dollhouse stuff, I tend to put like a parent's bedroom parts together and a bathroom and a kitchen and the living room. Well, this ended up just kind of being hodgepodge. Just had a whole bunch of loose stuff. Had some condition issues. Um, I wrote all of that in the description. Took close-up pictures. Um, but y'all, it sold very quickly. Um, just... Hodgepodge, $17.95. Another viewer sell. So thank you so much, Melissa. Melissa picked up my American Girl doll wheelchair for $9.33. This was from a Barbie lot that I had. You know, as soon as I saw the, the writing on the base, I knew it was Jim and the holograms. But just using Google Lens, I was able to realize that this little pink posted part is for the leg and was also to go with it. So, you know, Google Lens is an amazing tool, y'all. $10. Lee Dungarees Carpenter Men's Jeans. We do really well with Carpenter Jeans in a lot of different brands. Um, this one just was listed in March and sold for $17.71. Jelly Cat. Not a good one to pick up. It took forever to sell. And I, you see the number two on the end there. I had two of them, probably with different conditions. But it took a long time to sell. Um, and it sold for $10. Balto. Now, this is a Hardy's Kids Mill toy. But, y'all, there's a Balto plush that you really should be on the lookout for. If I remember, I'll have Robert put up a picture of the Balto um, dog plush. But even this, this sold um, right after I listed it um, for $13.45. Definitely, Hardy's, Hardy's, keep your eyes out for Balto. Petting Zoo, Snake Plush. I tend to pick up a lot of them. Not quite sure. I just, I don't know. I like picking up the snakes. This one was listed probably about seven months. And it finally sold for $13.45. Commonwealth Pink Dog Plush. Again, an older listing. And it sold for $14. Talbot's Women's Pants sold for $12. All right. This is from my favorite little estate sale company when I bought all of that Wizard of Oz stuff. I've almost sold all of it now. This buyer bought two of the puzzles. The bottom one is still sealed, wrapped in its cellophane. Um, the top one, the box would open up, but the puzzle pieces were still sealed. 
Um, this buyer purchased the two of them for $26. Now my best sales of the week or the Monday through Thursday. All right. I picked this up at the bins. Um, it's by Midwest of Cannon Falls, but they're called Heartfelts. And I remember I, when I was doing the video, I was like, I don't even remember what I said. I hope to make, you know, 12 to $15 on this. And I got several comments. Don't. That's a very rare set. Don't sell it for less than $50. So I listed it for $69.95 and it sold on a best offer for $63. I so appreciate when you guys send me those messages letting me know that, you know, I, I'm underestimating the value of some items. You know, a lot of times it is a guess for me. Um, and then when I go to do comps for when I'm getting ready to list it or for the videos, then I realize a lot of times if you see some of my haul videos, you know, something that I said, I hope to sell for 12 to $15 and I give you a comp, you know, that's like 30 or 40 or $50. Um, it happens, you know, I, I know from experience on some stuff, but I can't, I can't keep up with everything. Um, but I was very happy that these sold for so high. And then this, this has been listed since September. I got it in a bag of toys um, at a yard sale when we went down to visit with the tea and pickers. There were like two Tamagotchis and some Pixel Chicks and some Littlest Pet Shop and just all kinds of neat little things in the bag. I've already sold the other Tamagotchi for over $100, I think. Um, so when I got an $88 offer on this, I just decided, let's let's get it gone. And it was also to an eBay international shipping buyer. So $88 for a Tamagotchi from 2004. And then my best sale, y'all, is this Bosch Universal Mixer. Pretty sure it's something Robert picked up. Um, I want to say recently, though. I can't remember. And I, I had no idea. I had no idea that it was worth this. I took it upstairs, cleaned it up, took a video of it working, brought it down here. It was too heavy for me to pack. So I had left it over on the table here for Robert to pack. And he didn't realize that the mixer also went with it. And it was sitting right behind it, but he didn't realize. Packed it up, sold immediately, um, shipped it out, and then I got the message, you know, where's the, the blender part? Where's the whisk and where's the blender part? And I walked down here and I knew. So we went ahead and shipped that out earlier this week, and I've got a happy buyer. So keep your eyes open. It's very neat because when you turn it on, you can, the bit the blender can be going and the mixing bowl there can be going at the same time very very neat but i want to say we only paid five or ten dollars for it um and it sold for 206.95 all right hope you guys enjoyed this lots and lots of stuff going out still gonna be um listing 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 and you know I'm hoping now that the yard sale season has started, I'm going to be bringing in more stuff, get more stuff listed. Hopefully this year just is going to continue to be our best year yet. Um, you know, based on comps, right? I mean, eBay's uh, screens, you know, I'm up a, a little over 20% from last year already. And I, I think I attribute it to, you know, getting rid of this old stuff by being aggressive with my offers, listing a whole lot, um, and also changing my shipping down to the rates that my buyers are paying my discounted shipping. I think that has just made tremendous increases in sales for me. So, all right, y'all, get to work. Bye.